Hello everybody, this is Richard and I'm back with another Photoshop tip. This time we're going to look at how to replace a sky in Photoshop. And I know there are many methods for doing this, but this is the quickest and easiest of all the methods, I promise. Alright, so first what I'm going to do is just hit, I'm going to select my background layer. I'm just going to hit Command J to duplicate that layer. I always like to do that so that uh, I'm not uh, working with my original copy here. And now I'm going to go up to Filter, and I'm going to go down to uh, Luminar 4, which is, uh, let's see, I believe this is down in Skylum. Here we go. Skylum Software Luminar 4. Now, Luminar 4 is a plugin you can download. I think they have a free 30-day or 14-day trial, um, so you can try it out and see how you like it. Uh, but uh, Luminar 4 is starting up here. Let's see, it should be ready right now. And what I'm going to do is, so I'll look at my original picture here, and I see uh, there it is, and there's the kind of the drab sky that I want to replace. So I'm going to hit this little uh, paint palette here, uh, right there, the second one, and then it has AI Sky Replacement here at the top. So I, I drop this down here, and it says Sky Selection. So first thing I want to do is select which sky I want. Uh, I'm going to select Blue Sky 2, maybe. Let's see what happens with that. There we go. That's one possible sky. You can see how fast that happens. It instantly replaces the sky. There's no masking necessary. You don't have to do any fancy selections or you know anything like that. It just immediately replaces the sky. Uh, let's see what else we have. Blue Sky 1, maybe that one. Okay, that's also pretty good. Maybe we'll do Blue Sky 1, but you have a selection of different skies here, bright blue sky and dramatic sky and all sorts of things here. Like if I were to choose Dramatic uh, dramatic Sky 3, uh, you, you can see how it adds to the drama there of the, of the, uh, of the uh, view there. So I'm going to go back and choose Blue Sky 1 again. Here we go. And I can adjust uh, some of the settings here um, for the uh, for the sky, but I don't. Usually, the defaults will do the best, so I'm going to leave those as is. And of course, once you're in um, Luminar 4, you can do all kinds of adjustments uh, with you know the uh, selections they have down here, um, and you know, make a black and white portrait or a, a dreamy portrait or whatever you want to do. But this is about sky selection, so we'll leave it at that. Uh, we go up here to apply in this, in this corner right here and hit apply and it will send back to Photoshop our adjustment that we've done to the sky. Uh, let's wait for that to happen here. It's going to happen in just a moment. Um, let's see. There we go. And it should show it here in just a second. There we go. So this is the before and this is the after. Before and after. So that looks pretty good. Now there is the issue here of this uh, power line or telephone wire or whatever it is uh, going across the sky. Uh, I want to remove that and that's not really part of the lesson but I'll show you quickly what you can do to get rid of this. I'm just going to create a brand new layer here on top, layer 2, and um, now I'm going to hit the J key which is for my uh, spot removal uh, tool and uh, I'm going to increase the size of the brush using the brackets keys and now if I am on the make sure I'm on this layer and I make sure that I have sample all layers selected and I just start uh, to brush across here on the sky and we can see that that will re remove it the, the line uh, right there so I'm going to keep brushing across like this it removes more of the power line or whatever this is, phone line, something like that. And um, we'll uh, get rid of more of it here. Just keep brushing across the line just like that with a brush of about that thickness. And it keeps um, removing the line as you can see, which makes this much less distracting. get the rest of it like this. There we go. So um, that is uh, how we remove the power line just like that and uh, now we have this uh, much more interesting sky 
uh, compared to uh, the uh, previous sky, which is just kind of bland, kind of just drab, you know, sky. Um, so that's how easy it is to replace a sky in Photoshop. I think this is the fastest method ever with Luminar 4. And, um, and then I showed you, of course, how to remove a power line. And you would do the same thing for these. There are a couple other lines in here, power lines in here too, running to the house and over across right here. And you just do the same technique to remove the power lines there. It works the same way. All right, well, I hope you found this useful. And please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye-bye.